Joining us now is a leading academic on banking and finance. Well, Charles Goodhart is Professor Emeritus at the London School of Economics and a former Bank of England policymaker. Thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Goodhart, what are you expecting the Bank of England to do next week? Is it going to follow suit in what the ECB told us yesterday? Uh, I think not yet. Uh, the crucial issue is how much uh, domestic wages and domestic prices rise. Is there a concern that actually inflation expectations will be dislodged? No, uh, they went up a bit a couple of months ago, but more recently actually they've stabilized. There's no real indication that longer term inflation expectations have been dislodged yet. Uh, but is the Bank of England, Mr. Goodard, actually losing credibility by keeping rates at such a low level and inflation expectations rising across the world? Uh, I don't think so. I remember that the British economy is very weak at the moment. Uh, housing prices are still going down. Uh, unemployment is beginning to go up again. And consumer confidence is extremely low. Uh, so the concern in the UK at the moment is rather deflation than inflation. The inflation is almost entirely at the moment uh, either as a result of tax increases or commodity prices and energy prices. Do you see any kind of momentum building on the MPC for an increase sooner rather than later? I think that it is quite likely that there will be an increase if the British economy recovers properly and stabilizes, then there will be an increase. I, interest rates are going up. The question is when, but I think probably in the UK, just not now. Mr. Goodhart, does Adam Posen's continued push for more QE actually have any merit? Sorry, I didn't hear that. I wanted to ask you if what there's, was the question? if there's some kind of argument saying that here in the UK we need more quantitative easing. That in the UK what? We need more QE. No QE? No, I don't think there is any case for further for further quantitative expansion of any further QE in the UK. No, in that case, has, has died some time ago. Uh, Mr. Goodhart, I have to apologize, of course, for the noise behind you. You are in Paris, and there's so much background noise that it's difficult for you to hear me. But I just wanted to ask you one final question on what we've seen with Mr. Howard Davies because of his links to Libya and the LSE's links to the Gaddafi regime. Was he right to step down? No, um, I'm certainly not. Remember that the British government as a whole, until very recently, uh, was trying to make various kinds of uh, deals and agreements with the Gaddafi regime. I think it would be entirely inappropriate uh, for Howard Davis to do anything else than say, yes, we got it wrong, but under the circumstances, it seemed at the time the right thing to do. Mr. Goodhart, thank you so much for your time.